All right, gotta make sure we pick up all these diamond bolts. And our second drop is Onyx Bolt Tips. Not bad. I can uh, attach those to Rune Bolts and Alcum for 9k. Ah, uh, yeah, trying to go for the back to back. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm dead. Kill number three. Uh, sapphires. Could have been diamonds, but that's okay. I'll take sapphires. Kill number four. 23k. I'm going to make sure I pick up these bolts first, though. Boom. Kill number five. Oh, that's whatever. Okay, I I've spurned up a bit here. So when you're meleeing, all you have to do is when he runs, you put on protect range and you spam click him and put on protect melee and you're good. But when you're ranging, you got to make sure you run to the correct tile. So I mark these four middle tiles and he can just melee me diagonally. And I only have to tank one range hit, switch back to melee and we're good. All right, kill number seven. And hard combat task. I kind of forgot about that. All right, finishing off the final kill with the Carol's bow to save my diamond bolts. Boom. All right, it's Arachnus Novice. We can go speak to Gamel and finish the uh, easy diary. Or achievements, I mean. I've completed a combat tier. Probably the only tier I'll ever complete on this account. Oh yeah, I got an XP lamp too. I wasn't even thinking about that. We're going to use that herbal ore and get 5k XP. That's like 50 yards if you think about it. All right, and now we got Godmill Cell 1, which will give us three daily teleports to the God Wars dungeon. And it's my only way of getting to the God Wars dungeon, since Death Plateau gives you attack XP. All right, instead of trying to get 40 Ceridoman KC, I'm going to head to the Wilderness God Wars dungeon, and I'm going to try to get myself an ecumenical key to bypass the kill count for God Wars dungeon. Because I only have the easy combat diary, it's going to be a 160 drop from any monster in here, so it shouldn't take that long. Oh my god, that literally took me over an hour and a half. I can't believe it. Please leave a like on the video for me wasting all my time in here when I could have just got the 40 kill count. This is my gear setup for Ceridoman. Uh I brought the Ceridoman stole and the Sami robe bottom for protection. Uh, I brought diamond bolts, but I also brought some backup rune bolts, just in case. I'll probably be fine. Oh, that's so sick. That's so satisfying. Yeah, I forgot about the, uh, the cold weather effect thing that they got here. I'm so used to that fire pit. Uh, let's put our first rope in. Alright, let's head into the dungeon for the first time. Alright, let's use our second rope. Uh, okay, I was a little worried because the box was still yellow, but I guess we can still use this. Alright, and with the second rope, we have officially unlocked the Serdoman God Wars area. So we should probably go back and bank and restock. Alright, we're back with the full inventory of supplies. And uh, there's some people in there right now, but that's fine. Since we're an Iron Man, we can just use a separate Iron Man instance. All right, three zeros in a row. I don't really know like the specific pattern for this. I'm just gonna make sure I shoot every five ticks.
Oh, oh yes, diamonds. I can make more bullets. Uh, I was going to teleport, but I'm going to try to kill these minions. Oh, yep, yeah, that wasn't going well. I'm just going to teleport. Well, it's a one kill trip, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting much. I was just trying to get the one kill. Uh, I think we really succeeded there. We even uh, profited some diamond bolts, too. Alright, next up I want to try to get an armadillo kill. So I'm out here in the wilderness hunting black chinchampas. I figure armadillo shouldn't be too bad since chins are like one of the best ways to do armor anyway. Typically though, people do armor on a slayer task, specifically uh, aviancy task, as Freer accounts as an aviancy. I do have enough points to unlock the perk for them to assign aviancies. But I think I'm going to try to hold off for now, because I don't really plan on, like, grinding armor out anytime soon. Alright, 50 chinchampas. I think I want to get, like, at least 100 just to be safe. I'm sure I won't use nearly that many, but... Ah, uh, this guy brought his PKing ult to kill me. That's annoying. And he's taking my spot, too. Hilarious. Well, at least I get to keep four chins. I think I'm gonna go to Yanel and stock up on some uh, box straps. Can I grab my free sand on the way? Uh, these are a little bit more expensive than I thought, but 10k for 300, I guess, isn't that bad. Oh my god, I just got here. Another PK. -er. Well, I keep my fortunes again. Alright, I'm not going out there naked again. I'm not messing around this time. Oh, I almost did not see that guy. Uh, that guy scared the crap out of me. Alright, 29. Uh, I think we're good. Yep, we got uh, 114, so that should be more than enough. I'm just gonna get the KC this time. The, just, I had such a bad experience trying to get the first key, I don't even want to bother. Alright, we got the 40 KC. Let's pot up and go... Oh, yeah, I forgot to check to see if, if somebody was in that last world, but this world's good, so let's go ahead and go in. Alright, we're going to try to bring him over to the bottom left corner so we can set up the chin method. So we want to stay focused on Kriara, that way she won't melee us. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to stay focused on her right up until we throw the chin, which will change our focus to the minion, and then we'll switch right back. <laughs> I think it's over. Uh, that was a good try, though, especially for not being on task. <laughs> okay, there's a lot I have to do before I can officially grind out God Wars, but there is one crucial thing that seems to be a big problem. This stack of monkfish just isn't going to cut it. I'd like to unlock 80 cooking to be able to cook sharks. Also, if I train up to 77 herbore, I can use a botanical pie to boost my herbore by 4, and that way I can make Ceridomen brews, which will heal way more than one fish. <laughs> Seventy-three fishing, seventy-six cooking, seventy-four fishing, seventy-seven cooking, and a genie lamp, which is going right on our floor. Seventy-five fishing, seventy-eight cooking, seventy-six fishing, seventy-nine cooking, and I caved and decided to do the Hosidius mess hall method, which is way quicker XP, and there's eighty cooking. Alright, finishing up the sharks here. We got 478. Alright, I have a bunch of dwarf weed potions somehow, so what I'm going to do is collect Zami wines from the wilderness Zami wine place. 
If I had the hard diary done, these would be noted, but that's alright. I'll just bank them every inventory. Hey, another genie. Also going on Herblore. 76. And I was two ranging pots short of 77, so now I have to farm some herbs, but uh, there we go. 77. I can now boost using a botanical pie. Oh man, this is so satisfying. Okay, I kind of messed up that second half of the pie and ate it right as the boost was going down, so I just lost it immediately. So I didn't get to make as many as I wanted, but that's all right. All right, now that we have a good food source and brews unlocked, we've unlocked so much potential for future bossing. I'll catch you next time.